What is good, Tesla family? It's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I want to break down what's going on with Tesla stock and some big news that just came out. Let me first say that I'm not a financial planner, so take nothing I say as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out the Weeble link, which is down below and in the description. If you sign up for Weeble and deposit $500, you guarantee 20 free stocks. If you deposit $25,000 or more, you guarantee 75. And the offer ends very soon, just a couple of weeks. Anyways, for the market, we got the unemployment numbers, which were looking pretty decent overall, showing signs that the economy is not contracting as much as many people thought, and there is some strength in the labor market. Since then, we're having a bunch of Fed speakers like Barkin and Bowman speaking, not really affecting the market too negatively. And we're seeing the market actually attempting to rebound a bit, but Tesla, on the other hand, is looking kind of weak because we had some negative news. So the news is coming out right here that Tesla is slashing the Model Y inventory prices as by as much as $7,000. Now, why is this important? This is for the Model Y SUVs in the U.S. by thousands of dollars. But this is not for every single one of them. This is just for their extra inventory ones. So you can see right here, they built about... 433,000 vehicles in the first quarter, but only shipped 400, I'm sorry, they only shipped 386,000 of them. That's adding more than 40,000 EVs to its inventory clut. So because their inventory is pretty high right now, uh, this is because of the fact that they produced way more than what they ended up shipping. And that's very important. So they're trying to incentivize as many sales as possible by selling them at cheaper than their original price. So many long range and performance model Ys are selling for $5,000 less than their original price, while, while the RWD versions are selling for more than $7,000 less than their original price. They're trying to get those sales up, but with news like this coming out, it's not the best of news because the problem is even if they do do this, they're still feeding into those margins and that's not the best of news for earnings and factors like that. So any pieces of news like this is just showing how desperate Tesla is to get their sales up. And that's not entirely because Tesla's a bad company. It's more like there's just so many hardships right now with these high interest rates. And it's very difficult to get those sales up. So they're actually trying to get rid of them as fast as possible. The reason for that is because they have more production that has to come in Q2. So they're trying to get rid of these as fast as they can. So they're offering lots and lots of incentives. So with that being said, what does this mean for Tesla? All Tesla has done all day is just shuffle in this 170 area. It may continue to do so. Our range for the day is very close to 168, a little bit under that, and about 170.5. We've been going back and forth all day. We may just continue to do so. So it's looking kind of boring. Not much is going on, just lots of sideways price action for Tesla. Spy, on the other hand, on the other hand excuse me, has been pushing towards the 50 EMA at this 518.3 area. That's going to be our resistance, the 518 to 518.3. 75 zone, the entire zone right there is going to be resistance actually. That's where the 200 EMA also lies. Uh, but for support, watch 517.5 and eventually 516.78. Spy has been pushing all the way up here. We'll see if this thing gets a rejection or not. So just be careful. And we're at resistance as this thing has tried to bounce a bit. So watch this resistance right here in the 518 area. Will Spy reject and come back down lower towards 515? Or will we break through this? As of right now, it's kind of struggling at that tight resistance. So we'll just give it some time. QQQ is also at resistance near the 50 EMA at 440.86. Uh, if we break through that and hold above it, watch for 442. If we lose that and end up getting rejection, we could be sinking back down to about 439.36 and then 438. So watch it very carefully. We'll have to see how things go. I'd rather be very patient, if anything, give it the time it needs. NVIDIA is showing some strength breaking above the 20 EMA. We're back, we're back above. 874 so i could see an attempt to push higher we could get closer to about 880 if that breaks our next target is 884.48 nvidia is showing some life which is helping the qqq but watch this resistance as we're approaching 880 we're getting very close to it so we'll see how things go right around that range uh so be very very careful with the qqq and then for apple apple's not doing much it's just shuffling between 169 and 169 point eight eight been going back and forth for a couple of hours not much is going on with it so it's very very boring but anyways that's it for the market for now so watch spy at this resistance are we about to reject off our 50 ema and start sinking back down lower do we fail to break past 518 or do we end up breaking it we'll have to be watching that carefully for tesla if anything tesla is just kind of stuck shuffling a bit don't forget about the range we have right here very close to this 160 to support 170.5 is resistance. It's been going back and forth for almost the entire day. So give Tesla some time. It's a little bit red compared to the market because of the negative news that came out. So give Tesla the time it needs. But that means that I just want to thank you all so much for listening. All right, guys. So have a great day. I'll see you guys in just a couple of hours. Tesla to the moon. As long term is still very bright despite the short term downside. And peace out.